Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I thought today I'd show you Old Man by Neil Young on the guitar. This is of course my rendition, the way I like to play it. Of course there are many different versions and you can do your own thing, but this is uh, how I would like to show you how to play Old Man by Neil Young. So first of all we start on a D shape that's been slid up to the, the fifth fret. Okay. So D minor 7, and you're going to add the open E string at the bottom, okay? And I hope you can see that in the close-up cam. All right, so here we go. Hammer on to the 5th fret on the 2nd beat of the 1st measure, and then after that we're hammering on to the 5th fret of the 3rd string on the 1st beat of every measure. Then we slide down to the D shape. And you hammer on to the second fret of the bottom E string and pull off from the third fret of the bottom E string to the second fret on that D shape chord when we hit that D shape chord. So hammering on to five up here, and then when we slide down to the D shape, pulling off and hammering on on the bottom string. Sounds like this. And sing. Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Twice. Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. At this point, you're going to play D, F, C, G. D, F, C, F. Now during that whole progression of D, F, C, G, D, F, C, F, you're going to be hammering on to the second fret of the fourth and third string whenever you sort of hear like the melody going that way. Listen to this. your chord progression and we sing the verse oh man look at my life 24 and there's so much more live alone in a paradise that makes me think of you progression changes on the last line of the verse. It becomes D, C, F, G, and you end with the bass line G, A, B, C, D, G, A, B, C, D, three on the low E string, then open on the A, second fret, third fret, and then your D string. Uh -huh. That's a lot, so feel free to rewind or pause or figure it out, maybe look at a tab or something. Okay, so here we go. Interlude is D, the way I play the interlude, I go with the D arpeggiation, then C arpeggiation, and then a G arpeggiation. You got to remember there's a lot of extra notes where I'm hammering along with my middle finger on the second fret. Okay, so whenever that comes in, you're just going to feel where those hammer-ons come. Okay, here's the interlude before the chorus. Then the chorus is D, A minor, E minor, G. D, A minor, E minor, G. At least that's the way I do it. Okay, so here we go, arpeggios. Oh man, take a look at my life, I'm alive.
So essentially, there you have the verse, you have the chorus, and that's the whole song as long as you do the verses and choruses twice. Um, and then you end with basically the intro again. So it's a very standard folk song, A, B, A, B pattern. And I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. So just experiment with the hammer-ons. I think that is the key learning in this video is how to get your hammer on and chords at the same time. And you can play the chorus in a variety of ways. Now Neil Young uses A minor 7, E minor 7, and G some of the time. And of course, you can always substitute the relative major for those chords. So if you want to play the chorus with relative major notes instead of A minor, E minor, G, you could do that. You could do, oh man, take a look at my life, I'm a C. And instead of playing A minor, you play the relative major C, which is nice, okay, as well. But uh, to keep it standard, go with your A minor, E minor, and G, and you should be gold. Okay, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm hoping to do, maybe do some more mini lessons like this. Have a great day.